morning everybody this is dear mama cell uh, on a wet unfortunately um, Tuesday morning I think it's Tuesday I had to think for a minute um, <laughs> and I just want to tell you my word for the day is thanks because uh, I really had to thank God yesterday for a series of events that happened and the first one was that I drove all the way to work without picking up messages on my on my um, voicemail because I was so exhausted <laughs> didn't want to deal with anything on my voicemail um, anyways I didn't pick up messages and didn't find out that there'd been a major power um, surge uh, at my office uh, and that it had blown out a transformer. An uh, electrician had been working on something and he managed to blow a transformer that took out the whole of a floor and it was our floor. So I arrived at work yesterday very sleepy-eyed, I don't mind telling you, but I arrived at work to see it very very pretty. It was all candlelight and um, it was very pretty. Uh, the only thing was any of us that do their work via computer, you know, obviously we were clean out of luck and that was what the message said, you know, don't bother to come in because you can't do anything and uh, so I stayed for a couple of hours just to make sure there was nothing I could do. I also offered to go home and pick up my two laptops which would be fully charged so that when the laptops that were there ran out of power, you know, that they would have extra power for to do work on certain emergency stuff. Um, and they said, no, not to worry. So I said, okay. So off I went home and I was thinking, oh, that's great. I can pack, unpack sort of some stuff and I can um, clean up and wrap presents and you had this whole list yeah it was a brilliant list didn't do any of it but it was brilliant um, but I really did give thanks for the fact that uh, when my adrenaline calmed down um, <laughs> and I was able to just turn over, go to sleep, and not worry about it. And uh, this is one of the things that's quite funny that Yv Yvonne had, has noticed about me over the years, that I can expend incredible amounts of energy doing something like Dan Sember and stay up and do what needs to be done but I pay the price about 36 hours later and that's when my whole body just, you know, boom. Uh, which is totally understandable when you think about it and, and especially understandable at my age. So I wasn't particularly uh, concerned about it. I just understood that that's what was happening. So <clears throat> I really gave thanks for that. But what I also gave thanks for was um, the incredible... Um, support that that the dear mama Sal peeps have been continuing to give uh, since I've got back and you know Erin's been keeping me updated on what's going on on the one side and then Ashley has been reminding me of stuff I need to remember on the other and it's just like wow you know, what an incredible team of people that they understand that with my mind going 658 yeah, miles a minute, um, that maybe I, these things could fall through the cracks unless they remind me. So absolute um, thank you so much. I really, really appreciated the love that you guys gave. Um, and also 
Leah, I appreciated your, your support as well. Um, they're coming through in the last 24 hours. You know, I think when people understand that that when you do things like this, it takes a tremendous toll on the body. Um, any of you who are medical people, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. It takes a tremendous um, toll on the body, but uh, given a few days of proper rest, and probably take about a week actually, of just proper rest and not too much stress, um, everything will be back to normal again. It's, the body has an incredible way of recovering. And I certainly um, spent enough time organizing major events um, to know about how this works. And every time I, I used to do something like this, and some of them were two or three days long, and I'd probably average about two hours sleep a night. And the most incredible thing was people say, how do you do that? And I'd say I do it because that's what it required. But you know, I take the week afterwards off, you know, <laughs> and just give my body as much rest as it wanted to to play catch up. So I'm very thankful for that knowledge. I think uh, it's important, and also I was very thankful for the fact that Yvonne knew exactly what was happening to me, um, because I was trying very hard to be normal, but I wasn't succeeding very well. Uh, one of the things that I was reminded about and uh, gave thanks for was that Erin reminded me that one of our viewers um, is, would really like to find out um, who her bi biological father is. And I've got to do some more research on this one. Um, and maybe I'll get a chance to do it this weekend. Because I just realized there are a couple of bits of information I don't quite understand, so um, it's a difficult thing to do. However, one of the, the, from what I can gather, one of the hiccups that we have is we're talking about um, an American serviceman, as far as I know, American serviceman, um, back in the 60s. And I'm pretty sure that they either came from or were stationed in Maine. So if anybody can sort of go, okay, fine, I've got some insight as to how you might track somebody down that way. Now, it's actually really difficult because I don't think... Um, I think we have a first and last name, yeah. Anyway, so if anybody's got any good hints on how to do this, uh, the, the roadblock, I believe, is that the military doesn't just open up its books for anybody. I understand that totally. Um, which makes me wonder if there's an official way you can do it, uh, because there must be so many people um, who have this issue. And so many people who probably have been through it. So, anybody got any bright ideas? We'd be very, very uh, glad to receive them and uh, see what we can do to move forward. It, it is really raining. I forgot to tell you that it's three degrees. Well, it's cooler than I thought. Um, should make it 38 in. American translation. Uh, so it, it's cold and really wet. Uh, the river as I came across it was way up. So here's my thinking. And I wonder if this will make any sense to anybody who's into this sort of stuff, but the river is really up and we're in winter. <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> a lot of the rain that's falling 
<coughs> excuse me, on the higher elevations must be obviously going straight to snow. Which makes me think that the snowpack might end up being deeper than usual this year. And I have to do some research into whether that's true. And if it is, if the rivers are already this full in the winter, what's going to happen in the spring when we have the snow melting? Once that snowpack starts to melt. Anyway, I'll worry about that in the spring perhaps. <laughs> Two days before Christmas, it's not worth it. No. Now, I've had to say Happy Christmas and bye bye to Yvonne because she's off to go visit her daddy. Um, he lives in another part of, the, of uh, British Columbia and she's gone to be with him for Christmas, which I think is lovely. And. Um, So she'll be leaving either tonight, she may or may not be back tonight. I think there's a very strong possibility that she may not, so that's why uh, I had to say Happy Christmas to her today before I left. Um, and other than that, I'm Part of me goes, did I phone to check that we actually have power at work? No. I'm presuming that we do. Could be another long trip doing nothing today. <laughs> In which case I'll definitely give thanks. I'm about to do the most um, frugal Christmas I have ever done in my life. Which uh, is very unusual for me. I normally go absolute gangbusters on Christmas and I haven't this year and actually I'm feeling fairly okay about it because I've got a little something for everybody but not a whole lot not like I normally do and it's you know I haven't sort of broken the bank to do it either because I can't wish it um, and obviously with what happened with my sewer line I had to say to Yvonne, you know, don't worry about paying me rent at the end of the month because you've had to suffer a lot and you've done a lot to help the household while I was gone. Um, so it's it's probably a good thing that I was pretty frugal. Anyway. Such is life. So I gave a lot of thanks. Um, very grateful for a lot of things that have been happening. And definitely very grateful for uh, all the new viewers that popped on while we were um, doing Dancember. Very grateful to you guys. Uh, It's always nice to meet new people and we encourage you to join us in the uh, broadcast. Uh, now, for those of you who are fairly new, you probably want to know that we normally do four broadcasts a weekend. Two on Friday, um, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. So the place to find out where we do them is to go to dearmamasal.com. Nope. Yes, dearmamasal.com. Uh, and scroll down the right hand side. And as you scroll down the right hand side, it'll show you um, the links to the broadcast sites and the days on which we broadcast there. So, on the, and the times that you will see will be Pacific Standard Time because I am in Vancouver, British Columbia. So, just check that out. And then the other thing is um, we have a pretty active Facebook page uh, under Dear Mama Sal and that's where we do a lot of our support. So if you're of the sort of personality where you like to support people, 
Um, just keep your eye out on the Facebook page because it'll tell you when we need thoughts and prayers for people or when we're celebrating something or what sort of stuff. So that's what we really use the Facebook page for. And I also try and put uh, quite a lot of links back to Twitter. Now Twitter, I'm inclined to use a lot for nice quotes that I find and um, things like that, as I do Pinterest. So I'm just trying to think now. All those are under Dear Mama Sal. The only one that's weird is Instagram. And Instagram is under the real Dear Mama Sal because somebody took Dear Mama Sal while I wasn't watching. And so be it. Um, so I don't do a lot on Instagram. Just so that you know, but I'm trying to teach myself to do a little bit more. All right, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, and to give thanks to for the little things in your life that you have to be grateful for. I really wanted to give a big shout out to Kerry, Marilyn, and to Linda, who are all um, told me yesterday that they're still on track um, with quitting smoking. Hang on, everybody, I've got my tissue. Who are still on track with that. Um, just amazing that they have done that. Now, what we need to tell people is that um, I, I quit about 700 days ago. It'll be two years on the 12th of January. Um, and I did it by using a vaping machine, and I was talking a lot about that at the time, you know, electronic cigarette. And I was talking a lot about it at the time, and then Kerry um, decided she'd try it, and good for her, she quit. And then Marilyn thought she'd try it not so long after that, and she's quit. So that is awesome. And now Linda, boy, she decided she was going to quit in the car. And um, in front of a lot of people said, I'm going to quit in the car. And... I want to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do if you're used to smoking in a car. So we really want to give her a very big shout out because to be still smoking but choosing not to smoke in the car is awesome. And what I'm hoping, Linda, that you can see is that is a choice. That every day you're making that choice to not smoke there. And if you can see that and understand that, then you will understand that just um, working with that knowledge is what's going to help you quit full-time if you ever want to. As I said to so many people at the time, um, I, the way I did it was for a year. Um, I did sort of 50% smoking, 50% vaping. Now, what vaping is, it's, it's just water vapor. But the thing is, you go through the action of smoking, which is habitual. And so you feel like you're smoking, but you really are not. Wonderful. So, um, it's a really, really useful tool for those people who haven't been able to quit any other way. And I certainly have to tell you, I don't think I would be non-smoking today if it hadn't been for that. And, you know, somebody was asking me, somebody phoned me, a friend of mine phoned me last night. Oh, that was the other thing that happened to me last night. My Christmas plans got cancelled. The people I was going to visit are going through renovations. And they are in such a state there that they can't do Christmas dinner. And so they had to phone me up and tell me that. <laughs> that. So my Christmas dinner plans are um, cancelled. Ah, that's okay. But we were talking because um, 
we were talking about how I did it with the electronic cigarette and what I said was you know so much of smoking is mindless you know you're on the computer and you're just smoking or you're in the car and you're just smoking while you drive so I use my electronic cigarette for those sort of times and it really helped so I cut down by about half just doing that and then when I quit I only had to quit the other half if you like good stuff all right, everybody, so here I go. I am now off to go to work. And then hopefully we have some heat today because it certainly wasn't very hot yesterday. And I'm looking forward to a fun day. I'm sure it'll be very busy because we're going to try and do a couple of days work in no time. And it's already a very short week because of Christmas. Oh, well. Have a wonderful time, everybody. Give thanks wherever you can. Be grateful for small mercies. I don't care what life is throwing at you. I'm certain there's something you can give thanks for. And uh, I'd encourage you to do it at this time. And also to think of the people far less fortunate than yourself. This is Dear Mama Sal saying thank you for watching. Bye-bye.